10. Mozambique Mozambique is a resource-rich country that has made significant strides toward becoming one of Africa's fastest-growing economies. The country is still recovering from a 16-year civil war that began in 1975 when it gained independence from Portugal and ended in 1992. According to the 2021 UN Human Development Report, the average GDP of Mozambique is about about $1,093 per capita and the average life expectancy is 58.9 years. According to the World Bank's most recent estimate from 2022, more than 46% of Mozambicans live in poverty. 9. Liberia Liberia, Africa's oldest republic, experienced a series of civil wars between 1989 and 2003. The GDP per capita is only $667 and the average life expectancy is 63 years. The West African Ebola epidemic of 2014 to 2016 also had a significant impact on Liberia, infecting 10,675 Liberians and killing 4,809 people. According to the World Bank's most recent survey of the country in 2021, nearly 51% of the population is poor. 8. Mali Mali Africa's fourth-largest country once flourished as a trading post, with Bamako as its capital. Today, the country's GDP per capita is $1,953, and the average life expectancy is 58.5 years. The country's average years of schooling are only 2.3 years compared to an expected 7.7 .7 years. According to the World Bank's most recent data from 2021, more than 41% of the population is poor. 7. Burkina Faso Burkina Faso, bordered by Mali and Niger, is another former French colony that has experienced conflict and coups since its independence in 1960. Drought has also been a problem in the country. Burkina Faso has a per capita GDP of $1,650 and a life expectancy of 60.8 years. According to World Bank data for 2021, 40% of the population is poor. 6. Sierra Leone In 2002, a UN peacekeeping mission contributed to the end of Sierra Leone's 11-year civil war. Along with Liberia, it was one of the two countries hardest hit by the 2014-2016 Ebola epidemic. The most recent World Bank data predates this epidemic with nearly 53% of Sierra Leoneans living below the poverty line in 2011. The country has an average life expectancy of 52.2 years, a GDP per capita of $1,240, mean years of schooling at 3.5 compared to the expected 9.8 years. The conflict, which culminated in civil war in 1994, has left nearly 65% of the population in extreme poverty. It has a per capita GDP of $702 and a life expectancy of 57.9 years. 4. Chad Because of poor infrastructure and conflict, Chad is one of the world's poorest countries. Due to ongoing conflict and the effects of climate change, nearly 48% of Shadians are economically vulnerable. The per capita GDP in the country is $1,750, and the average life expectancy is 53.2 years. Most children receive a mean of 2.3 years of schooling, compared to the expected 8 years. 3. South Sudan The Republic of South Sudan gained independence in July 2011, but has experienced a long history of conflict, displacement, and deepening humanitarian needs. According to the World Bank, over 82% of South Sudanese people are living in extreme poverty as of 2016. It has a life expectancy of only 57.3 years and a GDP per capita of $963. With over 2 million South Sudanese refugees living abroad and another 1.74 million displaced, widespread displacement puts enormous strain on people's ability to cope. 2. Central African Republic Unsurprisingly, the world's hungriest country is also one of the poorest. 
the Central African Republic was the only country with extremely alarming hunger levels in the 2018 Global Hunger Index. The link between hunger and poverty is clear here. According to World Bank estimates for 2021, 62% of Central Africans live below the poverty line, with an average life expectancy of only 52 years. The GDP per capita in the country is $663. 1. Niger Niger topped the UN's Human Development Report as the world's poorest country, with a GDP per capita of $906 an average life expectancy of 60.4 years, and a mean two years of schooling versus an expected 5.4. According to World Bank data from 2021, 44.5% of the country's 21.5 million population lives in extreme poverty.